I'm going to do the exercise 3.21 so we can have another example of how to approach this type of problem. When a claim is received, so a claim received, a claims officer first checks if the claimant is insured. So claim officer is one role. It checks. So we have the claim officer and he checks something. He checks if the claimant is insured. Check if claimant is insured. So we have another role here and it is claimant. This is going to be a black box to us because we cannot control what the claimant does. He's the one that sends the claim. So check if claimant is insured. If not, if he's not insured, and here we have decision. The claimant is informed. Is insured. If not, the claimant is informed that the claim must be rejected. by sending an automatic notification via SAP system. Hmm. We have another hole here. Let's see. So we have SAP system here. Let's take this claim officer and put it here. Let's bring it all little bit to the right so it's the SAP system that does this and I think that the process ends here if the claim reject, rejected yep. otherwise a senior claims officer. So we have another role here, evaluate. Senior claims officer. So if he is insured, yes, a senior claims officer evaluates the severity of the claim. Great severity of the claim. Based on the outcome, the relevant forms are sent to the claimant. Using SAP system. So the relevant forms are sent. Send relevant forms. Once the forms are returned, so we probably are going to have an event, intermediate event here. Receiving something once the forms are returned, the 
they are checked for completeness. by the claims officer. So they are checked for completeness. Check for completeness by the claims officer. If the forms, we have another decision here. So if the forms provide all relevant details forms provide all relevant details if yes the claim is registered register claim in the claims management system in the claims management system and the process ends claim registered Otherwise, the claimant is informed to update the forms via SAP system. So the claimant is informed to update the forms via SAP system. Hmm. SAP system is there. If it is complete, we have all the relevant details. The, the claim is registered. Otherwise, we request for update to the claimant. Hmm. Upon reception of the updated form, so it seems that we might have another intermediate message here. They are checked again, hmm. checked again by the claims officer to see if the details have been provided. So it seems we can use this structure that we already have. So I'm going to rearrange this to use a short join here. And I think that's it. see yeah now would be it would be time to check if everything is complete as the process description uh, says and um, reorganize our process model to maybe use a little bit less of space or become more readable